So, uh, you remember last night when we walked into the warehouse, we were sort of hit by the angel shed. There is angel shed here, but it's a lot less, uh, it's a lot more muted. And this is because this is what we call a humid warehouse. In the old days, warehouses had earthen floors like this one, so you had a natural humidity coming up. And uh, warehouses were always built either near water, either a river or a pond, wherever it was humid, at the bottom of the valley, but never on the top of the valley where it gets warm. And the idea is that the, the traditional warehouse is both cold or cool and humid. Modern warehouses are cool, but they're dry. And that's why we're, we're experimenting at the moment in some of our warehouses. We have a, a sprinkler system, so why not use it so it emits a very fine uh, spray, a mist, and that will cool the top of the warehouses. Because in a warehouse which has uh, eight layers of, ra of racking, layers one and two will develop slower than layers seven and eight. So you have to change your barrels over at some point. And so we're trying to avoid that, because that's when, when you move a barrel, that's when you break it. So by using the sprinkler system, we're cooling down the top of the, uh, the warehouses. And it, for the moment, it's an experiment, but it looks like it's working. So when you put the eau de vie into a barrel, there are basically three things that happen. First is evaporation. Oak is a very hard wood, but the volatile alcohol vapors and the liquid content of the barrels can escape through the fibers. We lose around 2.5% of our total stock every year in evaporation. It's a, an auditor's nightmare. Uh, but it's a very vital part of the cognac making process. And at the same time there's this evaporation, the angel share, air can go into the barrels. And, this, and the bioxidation, that causes the third process, which is extraction. The tanning content of the wood is extracted, it, it goes into the liquid. So is the nice woody flavors, uh, nice uh, flavors of vanilla. And so that's how you get uh, the woodiness, the, the tannins, the vanilla flavor in your cognacs. And uh, we buy around two and a half thousand new barrels every year, but we always repair our old barrels because we're having to lay stock down for longer periods of time. <laughs> And you can't really keep a young eau de vie in a barrel, in a new barrel, for more than two years. Otherwise, it would get too much colour too quickly. For example, we've got some barrels here. The youngest, these are called Tiersons. They hold 520, 530 litres. The youngest one we have was built in 1927. We know that because that's when we stopped building this type of barrel. So let's, take, let's say we take this barrel, we put some brand new eau de vie in it, and then we buy a new barrel from, the, from a cooperage and we put the same eau de vie in that barrel. Then, I'm a very clever person, I invent a time machine and we go forward 60 years to taste from both those barrels. The eau de vie in, that was in what was the new barrel will probably be black in colour, totally woody, tannic, you couldn't use it. But the eau de vie that was in the, uh, the older barrel should be a nice golden amber colour, the correct amount of... Uh, uh, woodiness, tannins, vanilla and so on. It should be perfect for, for drinking. So we classify our barrels as three types. We have new, which are used for the first time, used, which are, you, are have been used one time, and then old barrels, which have been <coughs> used two, three, four, five, <coughs> six, seven times. Does the uh, angel share vary in new versus older barrels? Uh, no, it's, it's, it varies from warehouse to warehouse depending on the, the aging qualities of the warehouse. I think you did mention yesterday, as you age cognac longer, the angel share percentage lowers each year? Yeah, uh, cognac when it's, or eau de vie when it's young, because it's stronger in alcohol, there'll be more evaporation. Uh, it loses about one and a half proof every year, but it'll lose more when it's younger and stronger than when it's older and less strong. So it's, it's a rule of thumb, it's an average. Uh, but every year, in, in terms of physical liquid loss, that is 2.5% on average for, the, for us. And we, we're lucky because in this area, you can claim for that uh, for excise relief on your evaporation because it's a phenomenon that you can't stop.
Let's invent the technology to stop it. <laughs>